Oh yeah. The mountains on fire? Freak out. 23 years parked. Merchandise, that's so cool. You all right, honey? <laughs> no way. It's like a go-kart. You're what? kidding. <laughs> Wawa got her first car. I love it so much. That's not a good sign. Mm. All that junk. Spark plug scientist. That broke off. Yeah. Dad, dad's help. Well, you got it. <laughs> Done it real good. Yes. Quit chasing the goats. <laughs> you can do it. I don't know what that is. The radiator. Duh. It's disgusting. Oh. That's not funny. Oh, oh man. Oh. All right, hammer. A what? <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Plowing through the shop. Master inspector. Surely. Dying, son. No gas in it. Oh. That's not good. Woo. Leaks everywhere. That's ridiculous. If Rocky. Yeah. May pops. Tartar sauce. Tighten her down. He was so good. Brutal beans. Oh yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Oh. Thinking about killing. Surely. Boogers Surely. try to get us. We've been sabotaged. Oh. Is it too late to turn back? You've been locked up. Surely. Shucks. My nerves is shot. Stinky has to be worried. Why do we have a jar full of $20 bills? <laughs> I think we might find Wawa a car. So Wawa has been searching Marketplace. Yes. Basically every day now for months. Every time she finds a Volkswagen Beetle, it's out of her price range or it's already gone. So you gotta be quick on Marketplace if you haven't figured that out already. If you find a deal, you better go get it. Well, she's at school. She hasn't even seen this car, but we found a blue Volkswagen Beetle about 35, 40 minutes away from us, which is just in the limit of where I'll go. <laughs> So me and mom are gonna go while they're at school and see if we can get this thing. We got Wawa's jar here she's been saving. So let's get on the road. We got our truck and trailer here. We're gonna see if we can get this beetle. And hopefully he responds back on Messenger. Yeah, yeah. He kind of responded back, but not like, hey, come on. So we're gonna come on anyway. Dang, old son. <laughs> Golly gee whiz. This ain't no play around. Struggle's real, huh? Getting that work done. And we used to come down here and cruise the strip, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Why is that dead now? You don't see it anymore. Everybody's tweeting on their phones. Uh, social media came out and cruising was dead. Man, it was a thing, wasn't it? It was a Comment true... below if you used to cruise the strip. That's right. We shown up dead. Try to stay on them directions, okay? I'm trying my best, okay? I got it right here in front of me, so pay attention. Thank you, honey. I'll do better. <laughs> See the Smoky Mountains from here. And they are smoky. They're doing control burns right now. So they're burning them? Yeah, they're burning some stuff. The mountains on fire? It's on purpose. It's for it's forestry purposes. Forestry service? Forestry service? Wait. Forestry division. Does it say forestry division? No. It's <laughs> One point three miles away. Okay. Well, we're up here in the mountains, aren't we? We be on the river. Yeah, we are. Smoke ahead. Control burn. Hey, you weren't lying. I you? You're listen. We made it without a single U-turn. I cannot believe it. You are you are doing better. It's too good today. All right, let's go check it out. So how long you had it? Probably about four years. Okay. About four years I've got it. Yeah, he got it. He passed away. I got it from her. I bought it from her. And I had intentions of fixing it up and, you know, getting to do it stuff with it. And, and uh, the rats chewed the wires off at the fuse box. Okay. They like those wires, don't they? Yeah. They chewed the wires up the fuse box and messed it up. So it's probably going to need oh, but either a bunch of work on the harness or a wiring harness, one of the two. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah. them all, didn't they? Yeah, they chewed them up. I I cleaned right of that up because they had rest nests and stuff in there, and I cleaned right of that stuff up. Okay. She likes the old beetles, and she's at school right now, or I would have brought her with me. But <laughs> she's 14 right now, oh, so 14. she'll be getting her permit in next January. Yeah. Do you know if it'll roll, if the brakes are locked up or not? Uh, well, when I got it, the brakes were locked up. I took the front brake shoes off. Okay. So they're not I out. saw some sitting in there. Yeah, they're yeah. for the front. There's no brake shoes on it. Okay. I got them freed up when they turned. Okay. We're going to have to get these Maypops back on the ground here. At least it's been garage kept. That's nice, huh? Yes, it's very nice. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. I guess I'll throw it up in gear if it's going to take off. 
that could not have worked out better. We actually figured out that we knew the guy. He used to be a parts delivery guy where I used to work in the body shop. And Wawa is going to freak out. She's going to. It's the color she wanted and everything. And it has good interior for them. Yes. I mean, yes. it's not perfect, but it's like good shape for what it is. Yes. I kept telling her she would find some that were in bad shape and stuff or not exactly what she wanted. I was like, listen, just keep waiting. You have time. I know you want something, but you don't want to buy the wrong thing. This was it. This was it. It's great. I, I'm so excited. It looks to be completely original from what I can tell. It's got a 2000 tag on it, which means 23 years parked. We're going to have to put a wiring harness in, it looks like. He had cut a bunch of the wires and stuff because the rats had ate it up. I bet a wiring harness ain't that bad for this car, though. He kind of did the first step for us. He said four years ago he bought it. It was super dirty. He cleaned it up, waxed it up, did some trimming on the wiring, got the brakes freed up, but he said he removed all the brake shoes. So we got some work to do, but let's get home and show this to Wawa. She's going to flip out. She's gonna like she has no idea. She's not even seen a picture she of it. She didn't even know we looked at it this yeah, morning. she had like, no idea. She didn't know we found it on Marketplace we, or anything. Well, we found it after she left. Well, that's why it worked out. You got that Volkswagen exactly. charm on there. Who knew? Crock life. No trip in the south would be complete without a trip to Hardy's, right? Just happy to coincide with lunch. Too bad we missed breakfast. Yeah. Forestry service. Wait. Forestry division. Look, honey, you forestry finally service. found something that actually says forestry service on it. Mom is gonna try her hand at towing with a truck and trailer. Have you ever done it before? I mean, really, yards one thing. I don't yeah. know. Out on, on the road. With not a car loaded, no, I have not. All right, let's try it out. You better help me. Don't let me wreck. Whoa! Watch it out now. We ain't got all the gas in the world. <laughs> You got the hang of it. You're doing good. Until I have to turn. <laughs> We've already lost the tailpipe. We pulled over to check stuff, and this has already fell off it. Oh, man. Look at that. Model A Roadster. That's the cool. Volkswagen. Yeah, I love the old barns and stuff. The old general merchandise. That's so cool. Are you kidding me? Stay over my way a little bit more. <laughs> you all right, honey? Sure you got like two feet on my side. You got We're plenty of room. Well, you need to get over to the right. Of course. <laughs> Who knew they were doing road work? <laughs> <laughs> you made it. Good job. That was tight, please. I survived. Good job, Mom. I say the truck and trailer survived. That's probably what I should say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did good. Nothing too bad. Uh, it ain't no thing. Just swing out a little bit farther when you're driving. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. You better go get Wawa from school. I'm gonna hide this thing behind the house. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. What is it? And open. Whoa. No way! Stop! Stop it right now! <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> it popped up on Marketplace this morning, and we knew you'd love it. Oh my gosh. I actually love it. I absolutely love it. What do you think? It's so nice, Dad. Great job. Check it out there. Get in it. I it's your color, it. isn't it? It is my color. <laughs> I love it. Manual. I love it so much. Look at that oh, black interior and everything. This is great. It's so small on the inside. Wow. So she's been sitting a while. She don't run, but we can fix her up. Yeah. It's not that bad. I'm excited. I'm so Scores excited. Of death. Uh, it was produced in 7 of 71. It's kind of like a transition year between the standard Beetle and the Super Beetle. So it's got the flat windshield and flat dash like an old Beetle does. But it's got the strut front suspension and stuff like the Super Beetle. I cannot believe this. Oh my gosh. I, I, this, is, this is great. We knew you would love it. Great. Look, it's seating for color. five. <laughs> How nice is it too? Look at the paint and stuff. Like it's yeah. and the interior. This is so incredible. there's your gas tank, and then the spare would sit flat in here. So the Super Beetles had like a wider, bigger front yeah, like area. A little bit of wiring to do just, there. Just a little bit. Let's show them the big powerhouse back here. How about okay. that? I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Look at that beast, huh? It's like a go kart car rating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, it is. Oh, it's a four cylinder? Yeah, they're four cylinders, so it has two going this way and That's two going this way. And they're air cooled, so no radiator. This is, I think, the last year of the generator on them. How, so, how much liters of power? Uh, 
I'd have to look. I'm not a super duper V dub person. I think it's a 1600 cc. This isn't even real. I can't How believe many I have this one. How many liters of power? 1.6 liters, it should you be. Didn't expect that for today, no, huh? I did not expect Hey, that. we didn't either. We were just sitting in there, mom scrolling around and found this thing and just had to go get it for you. What do you think it cost? Four grand. Two. You're what? kidding. $2,000. Yes, so with our deal on splitting what? the price for your first vehicle, you're only out a thousand bucks on this one. Ha! Thank you so now, much. Now that don't mean you can go Starbucks, longer. okay? <laughs> <laughs> I knew where that was going. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. Who got the deal? Okay, you know we worked on that New Yorker. It's like 4,900 pounds. Mm -hmm. These things are looked up 1,800 pounds all this way. So it would have to take th like three of these almost to be as heavy as that New Yorker. Right. I just can't believe this. You it's got incredible. your first car. It's great. Wawa got her first car. It's great. <laughs> you want to drive it off the trailer here? I mean, yes. roll it. <laughs> oh, <that's Yeah>. <laughs> My brain can't process this. Can I cannot believe I actually have this. It's incredible. I'm glad it worked out. It, it's great. It's great. And the interior oh. is really in good shape. It is really, considering so, what I've seen on Marketplace, this is actually really good. 90 miles per hour. Wow. Yeah. What's the mileage? I didn't even look. Um, 54,000. It's, yeah, that brake pedal's gonna work. It's probably 154. <laughs> I love it so much. I it's love awesome, it so it? much. It's so cool. I'm so glad I have one. <gasps> Great, I love it. Cut to us getting parts and starting to work on it. Shoot. So it's been a couple weeks. We're back. We had some parts that were back ordered, so we're finally back to work on this thing. I looked up some information on this deal right here, and I'm gonna tell you some facts about the Volkswagen Beetle while we walk around it here. So these things were produced from 1938 until 2003. So they were produced for 65 years. They made over 21 million 500,000 Beetles, which uh, actually is more than they made Model T. So it broke the record for the most produced car. It was originally designed by Ferdinand Porsche and Adolf Hitler. Oh, so wow. do we get to climb a Porsche? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's definitely a Porsche. That's what oh, this yeah. is. But it was called the People's Car when it was originally produced. 1971, which is what this is, was the most popular year they ever made. This year, they made 1.3 million Beatles in 1971. Somebody apparently took the starter off of it. He said the starter was bad. Let's go back here and look at the engine though. I ran the numbers on this engine while we were waiting on parts and this should be a 1600cc dual port. But if you look over here, it's a single port and the block says it's a 1971, so it's the correct year. But this is a 1300cc single port according to the numbers on the block. So maybe it was a US built car. Maybe it was built and sold overseas and imported is the best guess I got. Some of you Volkswagen fanatics can tell us, but for some reason this doesn't have the 1600cc dual port. I'm really glad we found this one. Now let's tear into it and see if we can get it running. Whoa well, now. Hey, hey, get off there. She has been so picky with this car. This is gonna drive me crazy. The other day I went to get in and do something and she's like, what's on my seat? I thought I had tore her seat. No, there was like a cat print on her seat cover and she was freaking <laughs> out. You should show them your keychain you've already got. Oh, yeah. She's already I got keychains on I went to get the keychain, that, the keys out of the box. And I'm like, I don't even know which key it is. And I was like, oh, it's the one with 5,000 things on the key ring. That's it. Yeah. Look at this mess right here. She stole my croc charm. Can you believe that? We should start with the carburetor and ignition system because that's what's always bad. Why don't you pop the distributor cap off and let's see what it looks like in there. See oh, about yeah. our points and stuff. Ooh, that's empty. Okay. Well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> well, wow. good news is I already ordered new ignition stuff for it. And since she's planning on driving this thing as her daily driver when she gets her license, we went ahead and upgraded to a electronic ignition. So this is basically a magnetic pickup that takes the place of the points and puts out a signal to the coil. And with something like this, it's basically maintenance free versus points where you're all the way time having to set it. Cause we don't want her to get off in the middle of nowhere and having to get her fingernail file out and file our points or anything. But we got new plugs, new wires. There's a cap too in there. Yeah, we got a cap and a rotor. It looks like our, our plug wires are in terrible shape as well, but she's planning on keeping this jewel and driving it. So we want to put some better stuff on it. It's do a little so bit of upgrade. It is tiny, isn't it? 
Very tiny. Hey, look at the little cap. A little dinky doodle guy. It looks like the MGs, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Good news is that the engine's still free. That's go. We're taking off. Okay. But that's a good thing. At least we know that she's not locked up. That's a good start. Can you get to the plugs over there, Wall? Uh, maybe. There you go. I just try to keep up with the order on. Not that it'd be that hard to figure out again, but I'm gonna yeah. take this throttle cable loose. One's just sitting over here. Oh, it's not even hooked up to the plug? And it's oh, it's been eat. <laughs> she look rough. That's not a good start, is it? No, I don't. This is definitely the smallest engine we've worked on. It pulled the end off of it. <laughs> I just broke the wire. Good thing we bought new wires, huh? This is weird. The carburetor stud goes down instead of we used to them being up, not down. This is so hard to get to. It's so small. Yeah. Well, you're the one to pick it now. Don't start dropping. I'm not dropping. I've always heard Volkswagen guys brag about you can have the engine out in like 30 minutes or something. Actually? Yeah, they say it's just a few bolts and to pull the engine, it's not a big deal. You hear about Volkswagen guys changing the engine out on the side of the road. I'm beating you. You ain't even got one plug out. No, I've got the car ball. This won't even go in the... Oh, look, that one didn't even have a clamp or anything. It won't even go in... Look down in there. Ooh. Can't crank it up like that. Ooh, is our choke stuck? She didn't need to get a wiggle or a clean. <laughs> Ooh, look down in there. Oh, I see that. All that junk. That would've totally ran. Yeah, we should just sit it whole down in the ultrasonic cleaner, I think. Mm -hmm. Just let it soak should in there. Should we take it apart though, after we do that? Oh yeah, we're gonna take it apart. We have a carburetor kit for it. Look how tiny the throttle blades are. That's literally like a go-kart. <clears throat> Look at all the junk on top of it. Mm -hmm. So if you just started that up with that, all that junk would go right down in your engine. So the accelerator pump's moving. Choke is stiff, but it's moving. What's this wire? Do we need to That's electric it? choke. All right, let's put it in ultrasonic. Long pour, it is. Such a long pour. Get clean, little guy. <laughs> she put the low on it. Push on. Bottom. It's and good. It's finally looking like it. I think I was looking in that one of the manuals and it showed like the deposits. Yeah, that's what they yeah, want. That it doesn't look like old deposits. Like, usually it's not black. What about it? Spark plug scientist. Wait. That's not it. That's not it. Oil deposits. I that's what it is. Deposits, I really it is. I really don't. It's not detonation. It's not high speed glazing. It's not ash deposits. It's not that. It's not that. Whatever. It's Whatever. Not that. Facts. And it looks like this. That's the end of your plug wire that broke off? Yeah. Yeah, plug wires don't seem to do too good sitting around for 20 years. What's faster, a Corvette or a Beetle? Totally a Beetle. Totally. No, the Corvette would still win. It dropped. <laughs> All the pods. He says it about every one. Well, we don't really have any other stuff. I'm gonna start trying to install this ignition module, I guess you'd call it. I'm trying to clean this base plate because the points apparently have been out for so long that it is all gunked up with dirt and rust and stuff. You want a clean surface because that's, you know, how it grounds. <clears throat> Can you get the plug wire off? No. You need dad dad's help. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you broke the end off of it? Done it real good. Yeah, I'm glad I bought them plug wars, huh? You gotta quit chasing the goats. They're scared. Rocky. Oh, Lord. Oh, here she comes. She's going around for another pass. Look, she's chasing them all the way. They're all scared know. of her. Scared to pee out of Granny. <laughs> Hi, baby. You gotta be sweet. The instructions with the kit are just generic for like any car. It tells you how to put it in any car. So we have one screw hole and it did come with a new screw. It has a little dowel here. So I, it has to go, I guess in this position right here, it should sit down in some sort. There you go. You hear it click in. Mm -hmm. I put a kit like this on my Nova back, shoot, 20 years ago now. That's been a minute. I'm glad we didn't have to reuse our old screw because there wasn't one here. It comes with a new grommet that goes through our distributor body here. Okay, that popped in. Now, we want these wires to be over out of the way of this shaft because this shaft is going to be spinning. We definitely don't want to hurt that. And it has this little ring that has, I believe, four magnets in it because it sticks to things. See that? 
if you look, it's a square shape. So that sits down over our square down here, like that right there. As those flying magnets spin around, it'll pick up on this pickup and shoot us a signal to our coil to say, hey, it's time to fire, bruh. Here's our new rotor. Look at that little dude. What'd he ever do, huh? <laughs> and then we got a little indicator here for where our cap goes. Okay, we're done with that. Except for the wiring part. Ooh, you got it off there? Yeah. Man, those it's are incredible. terrible. Those yeah, are some of the worst we've seen. Ralphie, why don't you figure out where our plug gap's supposed to be and go ahead and gap these for us. This is hard to get to. Oh, there's not a lot of room on the side of the engine. These are like 25. Well, the oil doesn't look that bad. That dipstick's a humdinger, ain't it? Yeah, you could probably kill somebody with it so thick, but the oil doesn't look that bad. We'll see if she runs first before we change oil. Is that the front one or back one? Back one. All right, one more. You can do it. Golly, what is wrong with this one? Is it stuck in there? It's pretty bad. Yeah, let me feel, let me feel, let me feel. Pretty bad. That's not good. This may have aluminum on the threads when we get it out. Looks like it's seized up in the threads. That's what it feels like. It's freeing up now. Well, I don't see any aluminum in the threads. Looks a little speckled, doesn't it? I don't know what that was, but that was very hard. See how the threads look powdery looking versus this? This is the one that came out good. Something's up with those threads. We'll put some anti-seeds on before we put them in. I'm a stalking a victim. Oh. They're supposed to be gapped at 0.28. I mean, 0 0.028. But we're going to add five to that since we have electronic ignition. I don't know what that is. It says that in the paperwork that you can do that. That one's good. We're going to go ahead and spin this thing over while the plugs are out just to make sure we don't have any obstacles in our way. Give it a full rotation there, Walt. Oh, wow. I'd say the valves need to probably be adjusted, but we'll just see how it goes first. It's funny how it just has one thing on the belt, huh? Yeah. Have you checked the antifreeze yet on it? Is that no. a generator or an alternator? Did you check the antifreeze? No. Nobody's checked it yet? Where are you checking it at? Wait, why were you checking it? Well, I mean, we just don't want it to like overheat. Is you that know? a generator or an alternator? It's a generator on that one, I think. Where's that? The radiator. Duh. Yeah, well, it's. I don't. Where's. <laughs> where's the lights? They're, they're where's the radiator at? Yeah, you're out there. Ain't no light. Ain't no light. There's no way. Look, there's two tubes going into it. It's in the back. That's my excuse. I'm not used to this. What's yeah, up there? That's it. What'd you feel? I felt a radiator, I think. It's air cooled. I knew it. There, I knew there wasn't one in here. I was like, what, what is that? Like, what is it? That's the shroud, and there's on the other side of that generator, there's a fan, and that is the fan that cools it down. I was like, like a radiator. I was like, where in the world are going? Oh, there's probably an oil cooler up there, oh. maybe. I know. <laughs> I was just messing with That was playing some little trick there. I should have known. All right, you can put the plugs in it now. Okay. I'm gonna go check the carburetor. Now, you remember what it looked like before. Yeah, it was horrible. Wow. Brand new. That's crazy. Let's see what she looks like. I don't know how it does that. Dang, old son, look at that. Ooh, it's gotta be full. Look at that. It looks it's brand shiny, new. It's what I said. That's crazy. I don't know how this works, but it's magic. Whatever it is, is magic. I'm interested in seeing what's inside the bowl now. We've never done one this way. We, we've always taken them apart and then cleaned them. We're doing it the opposite. That's disgusting. Oh, had that. If it ain't, this is probably older than you. That Walt. ain't gonna help nothing not seize up. Look, we're just gonna put a dab on the threads just to hopefully keep it from sticking in there. I usually do this on aluminum cylinder heads. I don't worry about it with steel. There's something back here, y'all. What do you think it is? Like stink bugs or something? Ridiculous. Oh, my heart's kind of like 300 right now. I'm gonna spray this off there. That pine saw kind of gives it a funny coating that's left on it. Ooh, look at that booger. Oh, oh man. Oh. Look at that booger came out. So this is a Solex 34 picked three. Let's see what the bowl looks like in here. Are they all the same length, Ralph? I don't know. 
I like the car wears of the screws are all the same length. Oh yeah, they were thinking about us. I'm kind of surprised it's a electric choke, really. Now why are you stuck? I always forget one. What am I forgetting? It's like the running joke now. I forget one every time, huh? All right, hammer. Oh, yeah, this time it did just need a hammer. What is down in here? Let's pull our float out of here and see. Made in Germany, Solex. Come on. Well, not too bad. Not as bad as what the inside the throttle bore look like, you know? Mm -hmm. Looks better than that did. Huh, look, you got a plug here you can take out and you can swap the jet on the car without taking the top off. You that's just have that side cool. plug. I like that. Yeah, that's a pretty cool design. Let's see what these are set out here. Half, one, one and a quarter on that one. And that looks a lot different than what I'm used to. It's big looking. Get an O-ring too. Let's see what this guy's at here. Four and a half? That's giving her all the beans. I'm, I'm a little bit worried. That's like four and a half turns. That looks familiar there. I gotta think that was too far out though. Usually they're like a turn and a half. And here's our little carb kit. Look, they got, they must have multiple styles of the gasket, huh? Come with a fuel filter. Well, how sweet of them. Hopefully we have everything we need. This wasn't that expensive. Oh, it comes with a brand new float. That's a first, I think. Yeah. I think this one might Look, be. it has another float. Golly, this is a nice kit here. Accelerator pump, a new spring. Everything's new in there. That's awesome. This is the gasket for it. Are you sure? It is. Look at it. Yeah, it has. Okay. Okay. I'm gear. just checking. I had to change screwdrivers to get to this jet down here. It's dirty. See the junk on it? It came with a new spring? Yeah. Can you believe it? Wow. That's above and beyond, isn't it? Mm. That's a little jet there. This came with no instructions. That's the only bad part about this kit. Usually they have instructions. I uh, think anymore you're supposed to like go online. Oh, on That's the like line? A PDF or something you're supposed to look up. A what? PDF. I don't know what PDF means, honey, but thank you for sharing that with us. It's still got like a coating of brown on the bottom of it. I bet it looks really bad. We should have took the top off with it dry, huh? Probably looks really bad down there. I'm gonna spray through all your passages here. Woo! <laughs> What's wrong, Ralph? Okay. They probably sell new carburetors. Are you okay? Yeah. It increases eyesight by 10%. Exactly. <laughs> it burns. <laughs> turn into Spider Man later. I would do that if you had to turn into Spider Man. What are you doing? Oh, disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Train wreck right Impeccable. here. Impeccable is not the word that you're looking for. Yes, <laughs> She's always said the word wrong, hasn't she? Yeah. Let's see if it, how this diaphragm looks here. Ooh, spring loaded. We've got a new one of these. This is the choke, I believe. I guess I gotta take it apart over here. Here's our choke, look at that. It has like a tension on it and the electricity goes in there and heats that coil up and slowly opens the choke as the engine gets warmer. So that guy comes out and this is what holds that little valve in there. That's after scraping it a bunch and spraying out several times. It is this thick tar junk in there where it, that fuel sat in there for years. That's after the ultrasonic cleaner. I'm kind of surprised it didn't take that out, you know? Mm -hmm. Usually they take everything out. I can't wait for me and mom to get to go out on dates in this car and go to lunch while you're at school. No. I can't wait. It's gonna happen. Well, you gotta keep oh. it moving, you know? It's happening, <laughs> guaranteed. You're supposed to be helping. This is the accelerator pump here. It's kind of stuck down. What do you look like? Ew, look at the dirt in there. Christy! Oh, look at that. It's like sludge. So that went that way. This goes on here like that, I guess. Look, it's just full on the bottom. Look, that fuel just turns hard and gooey like that. All that junk. So where does that passage go to? I think that's supposed to come out there as the accelerator pump. It is not doing it. May hit it with the air compressor or something, but it looks like it goes there, there, down there, and sprays. And without an accelerator pump, it's not gonna drive with the flip. Is any air coming out of that hole? Nope, no, no. 
Nothing. You're nothing. jumpy tonight. I'm, I'm serious. Nothing. What's happening? I don't feel anything. There oh, go. we got it. So that passage was completely stopped up. Let's see if carb cleaner will go through it now. Yeah, there you go. See it? Okay. Well, that's good. We got that figured out. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's incredible. <laughs> what is that booger? This thing would have never ran the way it was. While that is working on the car, I'm going to take the fuel pump off because usually they're really bad, he says. So we got a new one to replace it. Exactly. I'm going to start by putting this dinky doodle jet back in there. That is neat, though, that you can swap the jet out without taking the top off the carburetor. I'm not used to that at all. I like that design. How'd this go? This spring went like that? Yeah, it goes to the inside. Like that? Yeah. Thank you, sir. So this is your accelerator pump. What that does is when you accelerate, it pumps. When you pump the gas, this is what's spraying gas. Or when you punch it real fast driving, hit that passing gear, this is what sprays fuel so it doesn't lean out. Look at you go, girl. <laughs> I didn't do that. You, it's in your hand. You did no, just promise. do that. That was already unattached you, before I... You, you just did it. That looks horrible. I think it's working. Yeah. So it came with a new needle and seat and the washer. Once again, th this is the opposite of what they normally are. Like everything we're doing on this is the opposite of what we're used to. Usually they're not in the lid of the carburetor like that. Okay. Anyways, you just keep dropping pieces. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what is going on here. We got our little diaphragm here for our choke. It goes in there and that slides over. Oh, there's a notch that goes in right there. Get our little choke thing hooked on here. What are you guys up to? They like coming in here, mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm pretty. Is that got a passage in it or something? You dropped a spring. What spring? There was a spring in it. Why'd you drop it? You dropped it. Y'all better not be losing something over there. I will find it. I'm finding all sorts of other things I didn't know I put down here. I'm not seeing that spring though. That's unfortunate. There's a spring up there. Yeah, but it's too stiff. It's stiffer than that one. I found it. Oh, what a deal. It was the opposite way of what I thought. Way off from where I thought. I thought it was right here. Okay, disaster averted. So don't drop it this time. This thing has some tiny little passages. That's a little air passage right there. We'll keep this one. We may, you know, keep it as a spare or whatever. I don't know if it works or not, but like we said, we're wanting her to drive this thing as her daily. So we're wanting to take out failure points here. You see this acre back here? <laughs> Look, he's ate it. We need to replace this fuel line going in and out. We should have some quarter inch around here. <laughs> he's just plowing through the shop. What is he doing? I think you forgot how he got in here. I'm looking for some new quarter inch hose. Got a nice assortment there. I believe this is called the pilot jet here. I sprayed out through all the little orifices. I'm surprised the kit didn't come with one of those new. Look who finally showed up for work. Hey, he's been weed eating out there. Oh, does that count? Yeah, that's, that's part of his job description. He just inspects everything, looks at everything. The master inspector. They call this the volume screw, and this is the bypass screw. So basically, this is a air bypass that sets your idle speed. And this is the fuel metering deal for your fuel mixture at idle. Both of these, the base setting is two and a half turns from all the way in. So that's what we're going to start out with. We're going to bottom them out, not hard, and then we're going to back them off two and a half turns. I put new O-rings on these, and I put some oil on the O-rings. Two and a half. Lord, look, that's a fogger kit, isn't it? Wow. So this is called an emulsion tube. It goes right there. I guess we might as well use the new float since it comes with it, huh? Even come with a new retainer right there. Quite a bit different than the other carburetors I've rebuilt. It's got all the same parts, but they're in different locations than what is normal for an American car, at least. Think it'll run? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. Surely. Oh, surely. <laughs> Uh, did you not get the notice to turn your phone on silent, man? Get our new spring on there. 
I think that's all aside from setting up our choke setting that's the only thing that's probably not set right right now that i know of aside from that i think we're done i just clocked that thing up to where the solex name <laughs> was sitting level we'll try that i don't know what the setting's supposed to be on it so we're just gonna try it and see if it works that's exciting it is exciting isn't it very exciting we're gonna see the plug wires on now ralphie hold this for me okay. those are the long ones those so these go on are the this short side. one no yeah Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're indeed right. I found some quarter inch fuel hose here that I think we had for a lawnmower, but that's what size fuel hose this thing has. You don't know which one no, you're taking no, off? No, 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 we're good, we're good. We're good, it's just gonna take a little mathing. We're up here digging around because the guy told me that the starter was bad. So we bought a new starter. We need to compare it. And I don't even know. I really hope the bolts are still in the block. That would be nice. I don't see any bolts sitting in here. You think it's in there, Ralph? And there's jam jar. Well, at least they ate strawberry jelly like you're supposed to. Yeah. Nobody likes grape jelly. I doubt that's in. I don't see anything else here. That is incredible. It is, isn't it? That's so much smaller than the one for the New Yorker. I know, right? It's huge. Yeah. Let's see. It this looks alike from here. Does it look alike? Look, what's that? Look how much smaller it is. It's hey, like, new technology. Apparently. So it looks like it has the same connections. These two look the same. These two big things. I don't the silhouette? Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully that bolts up. I, I like that it. it's smaller. It's pretty cool. Look at this old plug wire. Hear it? Snap, crackle, pop. Yeah, the old plug wires are so rotten, they're breaking when you mm. twist them. It's like them glow sticks. Glow sticks. Mm -hmm. yeah. like crackling. We just figured out that the plug wires won't fit on the plugs without unscrewing the tips off the spark plugs. Kind of like the way a dirt bike is. We didn't realize that beforehand. In order to get them stuck down on there right, I'm having to try to reach in there with our tiny, tiny little pliers here that somebody sent us in the fan mail and get the tips off these plugs. Those are a booger to get on the plugs like that. It looks like Wall had her firing order correct. So that's a good thing. I'm kind of noticing though, there's no coil. So where's our coil at? Look in the frunk and see if y'all can find a coil. Okay. I don't see nothing. Not there. Okay, good news. Wah, wah, wah. Well, that's something we didn't order. I guess we're gonna have to see if I have one sitting around here somewhere. Ah, yeah, the one we took off the motorhome. With this ignition system, the primary resistance on a one to six cylinder needs to be three to four and a half. Well, primary resistance is checked between these two. We're at zero ohms. It says you can put an inline resistor to get you where you need to be. We may just have to use this coil with a resistor, I guess. What are you doing back in here? Up on it. Okay, scratch this side, knocking stuff over. Did you find the goat? Well, after spending 30 minutes looking for a resistor we couldn't find, we decided that we're going to look inside the gas tank for now instead until we can find that. I want to see if the inside of this tank is dirty enough that we're going to have to use the boat tank for now or what. We've never went inside a gas tank with this before, have we? No. Dying, son. Look, that's the, that's the bottom, right? I think she's fine. That's the top. She got no gas in it. That's the float, so that's the bottom of the tank. I think we're good to put gas in it. What do you guys think? Yeah. yeah. Sure, Go tough. for it. That don't look that bad. I don't look bad at all. We'll just hook that pump straight up to the factory tank then. Feel her up, buttercup. I'm gonna blow back through the line and make sure it's connected to the tank properly. Is that coming into the tank? I think so. Yeah. I'm over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you're good. What? What's wrong? Tank's leaking. What do you mean it's leaking? Straight up. Oh! That's what I mean by leaking. Oh! How much gas you put in? A lot. Okay. Let me get over there and see what's leaking. <laughs> put that drain pan under it. It may be the fuel line, though. It could be something simple. Or it could be something not simple. Where does that come from? I don't see where it's leaking from. I see the fuel line here and it's not leaking from that. 
it's something else over this way of the fuel line. I, I can't really stick my head there because I'll get covered in fuel. Yeah, that's not good. We're gonna have to use a boat tank, I guess, for now. Right here. This, this oh, the fuel line's completely cut on top of the body. So from the bottom side, looks like the fuel line's there and mm -hmm. it's not. Well, maybe we can just replace that line then. And for the meantime, let's put this in a drawer. Yeah, we'll keep that stuff. Yeah. That gold right here. What has Pap all done? It has all the signs of rat pee though, under here. Why don't you stop this? Exactly. <laughs> stop on your head. All right, well, we'll run the new fuel line down through here. Go ahead and hook this thing up. If this fuel tank holds, that'll be a plus. <laughs> Look how tiny that is. That's incredibly nice. That is ridiculous. It needs a bigger fuel line. We have to find some new clamps for it. This is the line going from the tank into the center frameless car. It's crazy. I'm gonna cut this factory clamp off here and we're gonna put this new hose on. Oh my God. Oh, it just broke in half. Incredible. There you go, you can keep that. So now we got a brand new fuel line and we'll go hook it up to the pump in the back. I guess you can fill it back up with fuel, Wawa. Let's try this again. It's coming out of here. How? Going down. Woo! Incredible. When the car was up in the front, mm. See it? It's starting yeah. to push fuel out. And that's a good thing though, because that means it cleaned our line out. Wait, do we have a new leak back here? Look, yeah, isn't that leaking? leaking where the... There's another fuel line back what? there? You see what? it leaking? Pull it up. Yeah, it it's is. It's leaking there too? From the hose to the metal I thought hose. this was all the lines it had. Well, maybe we have to replace that too, huh? Yeah, we got... We uh, got leaks everywhere. We do have leaks. We got gas dripping everywhere back here. There must be another hose. Well, that's ridiculous if there is. There's too many little hoses on this thing. Well, despite all our leaks, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this carburetor <laughs> on there. And we'll jack it up in a minute and try to figure out our leaks. Come on, we're putting it on this car. Come on, there we go. It's so weird how the bolt comes up from the bottom. Rocky? Rocky? No. Rocky? No. That's tight there. Where's your new fuel filter? Isn't it right there somewhere? Uh, it is right here. Okay, tell me. Hiya! Ow! Tell <laughs> <laughs> me. You got scared Rocky to death. How? Did you just say impeccable for anything? Yes, she yes. does. Here, no, you have to hold a tire. You were holding a tire. Yeah, now. I was. See, you have a little tire. How come I am putting fuel line on and y'all are ninja chopping? Ninja chopping is fun. He started it. <laughs> of course. Well, that's not going to work. Oh, that's going to be a little bit of 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 and we're gonna hook this carburetor back up here. I think we got it where it needs to go. Give us some gas on the pedal wall. All right, let off. Yeah, we're good. Good deal. We gotta find this fuel leak under here. It looks like it starts right there, goes up over the transmission, and oddly enough, right up against the exhaust, right over the top of the valve cover here. So I guess we're gonna have to replace that guy. We got a huge pot of fuel up there and a huge one back here, bubbling up the paint and everything. You want May Pops, Wah. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to start an envelope for them casings. But it is so fumey in here tonight. And it's already like Jeopardy time. So about all of us already have a headache. So we're going to see y'all tomorrow. Tartar sauce. Knee slapper? Yeah. Shoo. Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. Shoo. Wow. Next day, we're back. Let's get this thing fixed. I actually went and got a different meter to test on because this one works really great for 90% of what I do, but it must not read small amounts of ohms very good because it was telling me that this thing ohmed out at zero and actually it's 1.4. Between that and stealing the ballast resistor off of the motorhome, if you stack these together, we get right at three ohms, which should be good to go. Here, let's put our Mopar parts on our Volkswagen and I'll put okay. the fuel line on under there. You think like this, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Screw it in. Try on, try on, try on. I really don't know how this is gonna work. Yeah. You know what? Flip it around. Can it? 
You sure about that? No. Mm -hmm. Where'd it go? Oh no. That is absolutely fantastic. It's fine. Okay. Just put one on that bolt. Like this? Yeah. Uh, That'll work. Okay. What the heck? Cross threaded. It's tighter, isn't it? Whole swaths is good, I heard. <laughs> I think it's cross again. Just tighten her down. Had to end up cutting that hose off there. Now we got another gas mess under here, unfortunately. I was hoping it wouldn't do this, homie. Come on, what are you doing out here? I'm a good shop kitty. Hi, you're so good. Did somebody see that fuel line coming through? Yeah. It needs to go to towards the fuel pump. Surely that won't, that won't come on down. Come off there. Sure. Yeah. Look at this old fuel line. Nothing on this car had a clamp. Listen to this. It's crazy. I don't know why I had no hose clamps on anything. Give it a snap, crack, a pop there, Ralph. Yeah. Spread of beans. Wow. So I just ended up taking this line out. I gotta think that's not factory, but. So it had a short piece and then it went around to almost the back of the cylinder head. And it had a rubber line from there up to about under the back seat was, but I just took that little short metal piece out and we're going straight to the pump with the rubber hose. I feel like it should be a metal line up against an exhaust like that. It's pretty close to the exhaust. But let me know, is that factory or not? Can we start now? Can we start now? Well, what's the first thing you need to start a car? Do you remember what we said we had to do yesterday? Ah, uh, wow. Um, oh yeah! <laughs> Duh! Okay. Dang it, dang it, uh, let me get a starter on there. A starter. We get a starter and do a little bit of wiring to this coil and ignition system. And I think then we're ready. Okay, good deal. Before we mount this starter up into Never Never Land and I can't reach this, I'm gonna go ahead and put a wire on it so we can jump start this thing with a wire. And we're gonna be using our solder stick connectors. Now you've seen me do the butt connectors that are low temperature solder that you heat up, but they've also got ring connectors like this that are traditional crimp style with heat shrink. And they also have spade connectors that are crimp style as well. And they have uh, heat shrink sleeves, all different colors. They got a bunch of different stuff. So check them out at solderstick.com. If you use code Josh20, you get 20% off your order. He needs to probably dial it first to see if it's not even going to have brakes. I can drive without brakes. Yeah. What a problem, y'all. It's not a problem. It is not a problem. Well, these, all you do is just strip the wire back, put your connector on there. Give her a crimp and you're good to go. So that way I won't have to fight to get this thing on there up in Never Never Land. I like how it has a protector around it so it won't ground out against that. Whether you need spade connectors, ring connectors, or their low temperature solder butt connectors, go check them out, solderstick.com. And once again, use code Josh20 for 20% off. And big thank you to Solderstick for helping out our channel. I thought these Volkswagens are supposed to be easy to work on. I couldn't imagine changing the starter on the side of the road where it's at. And of course, the dude that took the starter off must have ate the bolts, I guess. We have no bolts for it. So I'm going to come up with something. And it's metric, you know. So one side's got a stud and the other side has a bolt. Oh, there you go. Finally got that thing in there. It's kind of a pain right there. No doubt. Well, here's what I came up with for the bolts. So the bottom is a stud and I figured out it's a 10 millimeter by 1.5 thread. And I happen to have one here. And the top one is a bolt that just, there's no threads. It's just a bolt that goes through with a washer and a nut. It's supposed to be a 10 millimeter. And it's supposed to be like a D shaped head where it locks into the starter. Well, we don't have that. So I got a four and a half inch three eighths bolt here and we're gonna stick it through and we're just gonna duck. one of us hold this side and the other one hold the other side i'll hold the bolt so it doesn't slide back on you oh my god did you already lose it i yeah. dropped i dropped the uh, flat washer flat washer where'd it go did it hit you dad no it didn't hit the it didn't come out the bottom third time to charm come on now i'm holding the bolt for you okay accomplished hope it's not cross-threaded I'm really bad at that. Is it going easy on? No. Time for the old advertising, and since they made these cars for forever, I found quite a bit of advertising, but unusually, most of it looks very similar. So here's what I found, guys. Hope you like it.
pull that wire through. That's gonna be our starter wire. How much? I'll tell you, you're almost there. <laughs> Shut up. Clockwise. Shut. If you turn it clockwise, it will tighten it. Dad? Is this the wrong size? Nope. No, it's not wrong. I'm crazy. That bolt's a booger, huh? Yeah, it is. Too yeah. bad we don't have the correct bolt for it, so it don't spin on this side. Yeah, that's good. Can you hand me a 15? A lot closer slide on it. But I think I got it all bolted in and wired in. The factory battery cable was under here still, thankfully, so maybe that starter will work for us. I'm gonna zip tie our Mopar resistor on here. They actually make a coil that has the correct resistance and I'll probably end up getting it. We can skip this step right here. For now, we're gonna go with this. The Mopar guys will appreciate this. So we're gonna use one of our ring connectors here. According to the wiring diagram, the black wire goes straight from the ignition pickup straight to the negative side of the coil. This wire just happens to be the correct length to do that. Come on. Third time filling it up. Maybe she ain't gonna be leaking this time. Surely. So here's my wiring. When the ignition switch comes on, it sends power to here, which sends power to the ignition pickup, and then it sends power out to the solenoid here and the electric choke. It also sends power through this resistor to the other side, goes to the positive side of the coil. And then the ground side just goes straight to the coil. That's all there is to this setup. Hopefully that'll work. Look what I just found. A Domino's. Incredible. I wonder how old that is. That looks incredibly old. You got that? Yeah. Well, there's our new ignition switch. That'll work, won't it? Yep. I don't know where our smaller batteries are. Seems like we Let's always have... Let's take the hog leg. You need it. <laughs> uh, please. It seems like we always have the smaller batteries, but this is a bigger one. Let's see if it has any sizzles in it. No? So far, so good. Ralph is going to be the switch master in there. Here in a second, you turn that toggle switch on. We'll see if this is working. The wiring is working back here. Okay. Turn it on. Yep. So our ignition switch is working. All right, well, let's put some gas in her. Are you ready for this? Uh, I'm ready. This is super exciting. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put some down the bowl vent here. Try to fill that carburetor bowl up. We're going to try our starter real quick to make sure it works before we turn the ignition switch on. But we just got to tap this to here, and that's our starter. It's not working. Is it a bad starter? So why is our starter not working? Incredible. Let me turn it a little bit and see if that changes anything. Why wouldn't that be working? You want to do something wrong? You gotta be kidding me. Come on. We got to this point and it's not gonna turn. Let me look at what I've done here. Maybe the cylinder was getting voltage, but not the cable. Let me check that. I feel like we always have problems. There's always something that comes up. <laughs> That's what happens when we work on old cars. Hilarious. There's always something. Especially something that's in park forever. Sure. Yeah, if it's really been parked for a long time. Yeah, they need to Well, it's got power to the cable, to the starter lug. Tap that yellow wire on the positive. Just tap it on there a couple times. Let me see if it's getting power to the motor. Okay. Yeah, it's getting power. What in the world? I guess we're going to pull this starter out. I don't know what it would be. That's so weird. Okay, back up. I wish it was in an easier spot because this is kind of a pain, but I guess I want to take a look in there at the flywheel, which is pretty much impossible to see from here. We'll test this starter out on the ground though, too. Okay, I should be good now. Now, I would have expected that from the old one, you know, but not really a brand new one. So I can't get my head in here, but I can get the phone. I see the bushing in there. I don't see anything that scares me. Kind of looks like the star has been hitting that back wall. Get her done, son. So why is it not doing that in yeah. the car? I don't oh, see anything wrong with that oh. starter. It would have had to have been in that bushing for it to install, which I have it hooked to the factory battery cable in there, but I wonder if that cable's not making a good connection or something. The cable that we said that was jank? No, that's oh, the that's battery cable. Okay, hold on. Okay. Calm down. Right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Bring it down about 10 notches. The battery cable looks like really janky, so. He's just thinking about killing. <laughs> that's all he thinks about. Could you help us with a starter, Rocky? We can't figure it out. What do you think's wrong with it? All right, thanks, bro. Well, it has the same number of teeth. The spacing looks the same. I don't see anything 
Weird. Look at that, how it's all eat off the corner. I'm not seeing anything that stands out as a problem here, unfortunately. I guess I'm gonna put it right back in there. I may put a little bit of grease on this where it goes in that bushing. I'm just hoping they had a bad connection on that cable or something. You should be good at this by now. Yeah, surely. Surely? Surely. Oh, I keep pulling this down and my arms get squished. <laughs> is this cross-threading? I think it is. What is wrong with me? It goes like three times and it goes like Where's the Well, I'll tell you one thing. It may have been. I noticed there's like a bunch of dirt in that hole where the bushing is. And I got in there with the screwdriver and knocked out. I almost think there was a dirt dauber's nest in that mm. hole. Because I never saw it before. And maybe stopping it from going far enough to be able to engage. We'll see. <laughs> Yay! Can you believe that? I think it was a dirt dauber's nest. Then the boogers tried to get us, didn't they? They did. That's so exciting. We've been sabotaged. <sighs> All right, well, let's try it. Let's try it and see if it'll run. Yeah, you, you're the ignition switch, man. It will. Where's our little squeezy bottle? I think, is the fuel pump already working? Yeah, look. Your fuel pump's already pumping from that little bit we turned it over. Look at that. Ralphie, ignition on. Ignition is on. All right, hit the starter. Now you're gonna have to hold it down the whole time, you know? Oh, you said hit it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's walking. Uh -oh. They usually want a lot of fuel when they've been sitting. Try it again. Uh, come on. But it's smoking already. It's got stuff coming out of the tailpipe too. Come on. Our timing. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think our timing's off. Turn the ignition switch off real quick. Look at all the stuff that pooped out of the pipe. She gonna start. It said in the paperwork that this may change the timing by as much as 10 degrees. So we're gonna check it real quick here and see. Are you so excited? Yeah, it's definitely going to start. It's definitely going to. I have faith in it. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I never saw a timing mark there. So it's got a 10 millimeter bolt there that allows your distributor to move around. And we're gonna try to mark this where we can see it better. From what I've seen, this mark is negative five degrees and this dimple right here is zero. So right there should be zero lined up with this right here. Uh, 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 uh. I think we're 180 out or the last person was 180 out, you know. It's not firing anywhere near that. So if I spin this guy 180 degrees, drop her back in, maybe that'll work. That there is pretty close on the timing. Let me give it some fuel and try this again. I know it, it actually fired there. Yeah. Oh. Try it again, Ralph. Don't let off early. Okay. Come on. All right, hold on. <laughs> what aren't you liking here? It's not liking something. I don't know what it is. Look at it, go away. Yeah, 23 years of rust right there. That's incredible. Hey, I seen this wire right here sparking real bad. This was? Yeah. That's factory. Okay. Let's hit it again here. Let me put the timing light on it and we'll try it again. We'll try to set the timing better. So I'm gonna put 30 degrees of advance in this. So when I rev it, it should line Ralph with this to be somewhat correct timing. All right, try it, Ralph. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's it wanting now? Gay. Is it what? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
What's the deal? Try it again, Ralph. Oh, oh, oh. Why is the cool wire off? I don't know. It must have just came off. Well, uh, good eye, Wawa. Turn everything off. Good job, yeah. That ain't gonna run like that, is it? Uh, nerp. Well, what's up with that? It literally just ran. That's weird. It's not even mm. like it's trying to fire now at all. Did you cut it off? No. Well, it was running good. <laughs> it's running great. She sounds pretty good too, don't she? Yeah, yeah. that's funny. I, I wonder just, why it died there. What happened, Ralphie? I didn't do nothing, but while it was going, did you hear a noise? Yes, yeah. we did. I heard, I heard a little rattling noise. What'd you do? I accidentally touched the, the starter? Ignition, ignition switch to the wire that you started with. <laughs> <laughs> so it went, Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. It, awesome. it seems to run really good. Yeah, it's really good. It seems to be like once we blow the soot out of her. Hey, sometimes you just gotta blow the soot out of her. That's all I got to say. I'm thinking that that ignition is going in and out because it was running and then it wouldn't start and then it did start and then it just died like you cut the switch off. I don't think it's out of fuel. Do you guys? Let me see. How's the fuel filter? It's impossible. No, it's got fuel. It's not fuel. Hmm. So it just lost spark all at once. That generator is sparking like crazy, I isn't it? I told you it was. Like crazy. She's so I might spark. Just, maybe I should just unhook that right there, you think? Because it's not hooked up to the factory system, so there shouldn't be power on that she wire. She sounds good. It does. It she runs good. Really good. It seems like it's firing on all cylinders, doesn't it? Well, this was a success. Yeah. Very, very Definite good. success here. So we're going to have to make some room and get this thing outside to where we can drive it around without brakes, of course. Mm -hmm. Why not? Um, but knee slapper yeah we need to check the we should probably run it through the gears though and see how the clutch works can i do that because we're worried about the clutch it didn't seem to be active right. no, no. no janky there <laughs> yeah the clutch we tried the clutch when we moved it and it didn't seem to disengage but it may be totally different now that it's running Maybe. let's start it up and see it ain't getting no spark I ain't getting no spark. It's not even trying to hit. I don't, I don't think so. Is it trying to distribute your back up? Hmm. No. <laughs> so is it jiggling and... No, that's... Jiggling and sweet around? That's factory. Is the cool wire still hooked up? Check the cool wire. Make sure it's still on there. Yeah, she is. I want to try something. We have it on this side of the resistor. I'm going to put it on the side that has more resistance. It has 5.7 ohms of resistance, and then the coil had like one point something, so this should be too much resistance. But, but why not try? Yeah. yeah. Ah. Yeah, I don't think that thing's getting any fire. Let's pull a plug wire and confirm. Ah. No spark. Hmm. <sighs> what does that mean? Normally, I would say it's the points, but we don't have points we have electronic ignition did you mess up the thing well i have the correct amount of ohms for what it says <sighs> maybe we should have just kept our points huh mm -hmm. wouldn't be having this problem is it too late to turn back i mean we don't have a set of points here to try on it mm. oh, great. for a beetle one to ten on excitement level right now that it actually did run i'm at 11 11 yeah 
I'm glad it ran at all. I know, right? We gotta figure out this ignition issue, but that's awesome that it started up and ran like that. Yeah, she you never know. You never know what you're buying. You, you don't. Been locked up. Demo. Been down that road. <laughs> Meantime. <laughs> You've been locked up. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have been locked up. I didn't expect it to be that loud at all. I didn't expect to get uh, sandblasted by the rust that came yeah. out of it either. Yeah, it's going to be fun, isn't she? Yeah, she's going to be real fun. Turn the ignition switch on. Okay. We're getting voltage. Let's test our coil here. That's in spec. It should be between 0.4 and 2 on the primary resistance. And then on the secondary, it should be 6 to 15,000 ohms in here. And we are getting nothing there. No signal whatsoever. So we may have burnt the coil up. See, we were using it on the full voltage start circuit of the ballast resistor. So this only had 1.2 ohms of resistance. So it's basically hardly anything. And that's why I ran on that was because the Petronix said it needed to be between three and four and a half ohms. Well, with the 1.2 here and the 1.7 or whatever the coil was, it put us right at three ohms. Looks like I may have put too much voltage to the coil. And burn it up, maybe? Wah, 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 wah. And I just noticed that we had two open vacuum ports because we got in a hurry and never hooked up the hose back to this. So that should help how it runs as well if it ever runs again. I want to also check our ignition module, make sure we didn't burn anything up on it. You put your positive lead to your power source and the black wire off of the ignition module goes to your negative lead. And as this spins, we should see voltage go up and down on this well okay stop it's not jumping like all the way up all the way down it's just staying see what it should be doing is putting an on and off ground signal as it comes around we're just having a constant ground signal surely we didn't burn that thing up already surely surely so I guess there's a couple options here. We may have burned up our ignition module somehow. I don't know how, because I did everything it said. This could have got too much voltage and burn up. Or secondly, if this is a oil filled coil, that's a hard one. It has to sit upright. Was it sitting upright on the motorhome, uh -huh. the coil, or was it laying down? Probably. Probably. It was sitting up, I think. An oil filled <laughs> coil <laughs> has to sit upright, where like an epoxy filled one doesn't. We got some things to figure out. I guess that's gonna be tomorrow because we got a late start on this. It's already getting dark out there, which you know what that means. Jeopardy. The sun goes down, Jeopardy comes on my TV. The sun goes down. No. But... <laughs> Classic 90s country there. So I gotta come up with, uh, I guess, another coil to throw on here and try. Hopefully I can get that by in the morning. Shoot what? Mm. And the kittens are still a mess. I can't believe they've all made it. Shoo wop. All right, next day. I've been thinking about it. I think it's our ignition pickup. So what I did late last night, right before they closed, was I ordered a new distributor from O'Reilly's that has the points in it because we're missing pieces and stuff to that one. It was like $60 for a brand new distributor with the points already in it. I'm gonna try it right now, and if it doesn't turn over and start, we're gonna wait until that comes in later on today. Also, you know, I was checking that coil and it wasn't looking right. Well, I thought, did I have that on the right setting? So I turned it to kilo ohms or whatever, cause it's such a high reading. And we retested the coil this morning and the coil looks to be good. So I don't think it's a coil. Let's try it, see if it has fire this morning magically. If not, we're waiting on another part. All right, all right, all right. No spark. I feel like I've shot myself in the foot on this deal. Because I could have got points for like two dollars and we did the upcharge and got the electronic ignition so she wouldn't have any trouble out of this thing driving it and i'm afraid we've caused a new problem so since the coil's testing out good this morning i guess we're gonna wait until our distributor comes in so we'll see y'all in a few hours shucks <laughs> exactly it's a few hours later o'reilly says our distributor's there so we're gonna go pick it up hopefully this will be the key to getting this thing running for good Surely. You know that generator was sparking like crazy? I kind of wonder if the generator is putting out way too much electricity and it fried it that way. Maybe that's a possibility. Probably. I'm not sure. We're going to replace this thing anyway and see if we can get it back running. Well, at least I get to catch up on some TV. Oh, Ralphie, Ranger alert. It's an automatic. I don't like it. Ah, oh, man. Heartbreaker out there, huh? <laughs> you got a complete 
distributor with the points and everything, so. Incredible. We'll you see if that's our skinny? problem. Or you just wow. wasted your money. Your own wasted your money? Oh yeah, my money. <laughs> Forget about that horse. <laughs> right, He's a true American hero. Yes, he is. American hero right there. Unhook the wires from the generator in case that was our issue. So we should be good to go. Just drop this one right in and rewire it. We just got to take note of the direction on the rotor here to make sure we don't drop it in the wrong place. This doesn't have a gear like I'm used to. It just has like a flat blade to it. So you either got it or you're 180 out like they were. That way right there. This is the tiniest little guy. It's hilarious. <sighs> I'm just going to use this cap. It's already a brand new cap. We'll have a spare. If this don't work, I don't know what else. If this don't work, we're gonna push her in the pond. <laughs> Who I do you think works. you are? <laughs> we would just have her as like yard decor at that point. Nothing wrong with a little yard decor. Pull that off. That's incredible. Crank it back up, Ralph. Hey! That is so cool. Uh, I may have to adjust on that carburetor a little bit. Man. That's great. <laughs> I can't believe we had messed that other thing up. I don't know how we did, but we did something wrong, I guess. Oh, or... she's running now. Let me adjust on this carburetor just That's a little exciting. bit. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> that is so that cool. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. That was first engagement? time. I know, right? First time. I'm surprised. I thought we was going to have to do more stuff yeah, to it. That's... So we're a little bit worried about our clutch because the clutch pedal feels like it's working, but when we push it in, the car doesn't roll. We're not sure that the clutch works, but we're about to find out. We gotta work on our clutch. <laughs> or we can push it off. Push it off. One of the two. I'll push. <laughs> Mom says she'll push. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can adjust this clutch. Because oh. it feels like the cable's working, but it's not disengaging at all for whatever reason. <laughs> we may have a blowed up clutch. I don't know. Maybe. Possibility. Oh yeah, push it back to the gravel. Mm -hmm. Good time. I'm kind of skeptical that there's any issue with this because this cable already feels tight. There's no looseness to this at all. I'm a little bit worried that we have a clutch issue, but I'm gonna try this just in case and see if it works. We're trying to tighten this wing nut up. I've got vice grips on the hex part of the cable to hold it still. I'm gonna crank it back up and see if we did anything. I only got about three or four turns on that wing nut because it already feels like it has a lot of pressure. You can feel the pressure plate going in and out, so I don't know what's up. I'm going to crank it on the stands here and see what it does. Yeah, it's not working at all. We must have some sort of clutch issue. Here's the plan. Me and mom are going to try to push you off in gear so you can drive this thing. So your brakes are your brother hitting the kill switch or you swerving to miss whatever you're about to hit. Okay? Okay, here we go. What could go wrong? I don't know about this. <laughs> All right, here you go, Walt. The ignition is on. Got the gas pedal works, right? Get it. Oh, I think it'll work. Get it. Get it. We need more pushers, don't we? Is this just going to start? Is that what they're doing? Is it going to be that hard to push? This might. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I can do it. Just run it on the starter, Ralphie. You may have to tap the gas to do it. To get it to run, Walt. Okay. 
Give us some gas. Chickens! You gotta be quicker, bro. Well, I, I didn't notice. I was looking at you guys. Oh my god. I guess so is she. That was a close one on the galaxy. Let me try driving one. I wanna try it once. Okay, it's fun. It's a very touchy on the gas. Very okay, touchy. all right, all right. <laughs> Were you in first? I'm so she so has no clue. I'm pretty sure it's in first. She don't know. According to the dash, it's in first. I'm gonna try a second. Go for it. You alright? Alright, go. We're to shut it off, we're not in gear. Okay, now it's on. Alright, ready? It's still not in gear, shut it off. Now it's in gear, I think. Wait! The clutch works! What? The clutch works! What? It's working fine! It started working! No way! Alright, first gear. Here we go. We're gone. <laughs> You got the clutch in, Ralph? Yep. Ignition on? Um. Who's got the ignition switch? You. I better have it. If it does something. Give some, some gas, just... Ralph. We gotta get brakes on this thing. We gotta get some brakes. You are done. Kill it, kill it. Lord Almighty, you scare me to death. She's a ripper, isn't she? Yeah. Hey, I had to hold on the whole time. Yeah, you have to. 
<laughs> Your turn, Mom. Oh, my nerves shot. Is the switch on? Let me make the switch on. Hold the clutch in. I got the clutch in. You might want to back up, Wall. It's Mom, remember? Probably, yeah. Be easy with it. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, here there we go. go. Whoop. Yeah, she's ripping no matter what. <laughs> oh, she's ripping already. Oh. Darn. I know. <laughs> it's funny you don't even have to, it doesn't have coolant, so you don't really have to think about overheating as much, you know? Well, you're getting that bad to me. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's trying to cut a donut, isn't she? Oh. <laughs> This thing is a ripper. We haven't even adjusted the valves. We didn't check our rear end. <gasps> you can't give it no gas. She wants to go, don't she? We got to check our rear end, huh? Dad, you that was your I know. Thing. Number you one rule. It. We'll have to check it before we get out on the road. Stop her. <laughs> You're done. Okay, stop us. Let out. <laughs> I can't believe the clutch started working. Hey, I'm glad it did. Pedal. I'm glad it did. Yeah, that's it's crazy. All right. It just had to get used to driving again. That's all it was. That's all it was. Was that fun? Yeah. That's nice car. Did it spin around? No, not really. It's it spun I spun a casing, but it didn't like. I was her Do a donut. You were. You were. You need to tell them the story about the first manual transmission vehicle you drove. So the first manual transmission thing that I ever drove was my best friend Misty in high school. She had this exact bike, car. Exact. I mean, it's not this car, but it's the same color, same everything. Yeah. For some unknown reason, we thought it'd be a good idea for me to drive, which I never right. drove one before. So here we sent off in it, and I, we made it just fine. I didn't. I might have killed it a, a few times. I'm sure I did, but I drove just fine. And so it's come full circle. You're back around into the same vehicle. Yeah. Wow. We just got your brakes on this thing now. Yes. And some casings. Good. Yeah, that'd be nice. I can't believe the clutch just started working. That's great. It's Maybe because out. it just needed to go. Centrifugal force. Need to go. Somebody let us know in the comments why the clutch just started working. Because it needed to go. Exactly. How excited are you? I'm like a level from like one to ten. This is, like is going to be a bad. This is going to be a bad thing because they're going to be out here every day yeah. trying to drive us in the field. Ripping no it. Brakes. Ripping it. We're going to have to go on a little cruise with this and the MG Midget. That'd, That'd be, be fun, fun huh? Oh, yeah. Maybe go on the Dragon or something with both yeah. of them. That'd be fun. That'd be really 14 year old girl here saved up her money was able to buy her a car we paid two thousand dollars for it you know i split it with her she still got a little bit of money to yep. fix it up we still got to do a wiring harness in this car we've actually already ordered the wiring harness and got it here so we got to put a wiring harness in it that'll be fun and we bought a complete kit to redo the brakes but we got all the new wheel cylinders hoses master cylinder we're just waiting on a couple pieces oh. of it that are back order we're waiting on to do the brakes so I'm we didn't have to do a little bit more wiring. Yeah, well, just Daddy just wired her up, you know. Oh, he wired real good first time. That's why she about zipped it down. <laughs> I know, right? You will definitely see future videos of this car. A few months from now, she'll be old enough to get her permit, and she can start driving with Mom in the passenger seat. No, she ain't either. She can drive. I seen her about hit that car out there. I ain't riding she nowhere. She wasn't with looking her. at that Galaxy you, at all. You can drive with her. I ain't driving with her at all. I ain't happening. Mm -mm. Oh, one time. One time. That's the one time. Yeah, the one time. Today. <laughs> we spent a couple hundred dollars and got her going. Yeah. Hadn't even changed the oil yet. Oh, we forgot to do that. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a future video. <laughs> well, guys, we really appreciate you watching. Okay. Wawa appreciates it. Oh. Yeah, mom shook it. You shook it, didn't you? Yeah. Just a little you bit. Did it. Just a little bit. All right. From and now you on, pointed at me, it. didn't you? <laughs> yeah. From now on, y'all are gonna get the RC colas. Yeah. But drink your RC colas. They're golden nectar, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Oh, None yeah, of that made it in. All over me. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your vineyards. Bourbon barbecue is my preferred taste, but everybody has their own thing. Maybe you're the jalapeno type.
It worked out. It worked. It, it, it's great. I didn't so know for a minute there so if it was going to work out, but it, it worked out. It, it, I yeah. should have known. They talk about these beetles being reliable. We should have known, right? Yeah, we, we should have It's not on fire, is it? No, I smell gas, but. I smell some. I smell gas, but it's probably fine. It better not be on fire. Hey, if, your if you're. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. If you're a V-dub person, comment below. Give us advice because we are not V-dub people. Yes. You need to know this stuff. So if there's something that you think we should do on our next step, let us know. Maybe something we did wrong in this one. Let us know. It's running off a of Mopar cool and ballast resistor. Yes. I know that. It worked. Fantastically. We tried to go fancy with the ignition system and it didn't work out for us. Who went after your homies? Exactly. Show a little respect. Videos you'll probably see coming up. We got to get on the RV floor pans. We got to do that. We need to fix the transmission on the Galaxy Wagon. We need to do the plumbing on the Fairmont Futura big block car. I want to get that thing going. I know. But you can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. <laughs> you didn't even participate. I fell. Uh, you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper, Sleeper Dude 88. 88. There you go. You can buy our merchandise down below. It takes you to a website. It's where you purchase things, and they send them to your door. That's how the process works. She's got a lot of fancy ideas for this thing. She's been What's looking. Fancy ideas? She wants it fancy. She want you want the roof rack. Yeah, the roof rack definitely. She wants the roof rack. No, she, want are you doing these hoops? Or are we we just cleaning these up, or what are we doing here? I'll probably paint them, and okay. we, we need some white walls. Paint them. Okay. We need some white walls in our life. Thank you to everybody that watches our channel. We appreciate it. Everybody that subscribes and likes the video, you comment oh, below. All that helps us. We really appreciate it. Just let it run on your TV while you're at work. How about that? <laughs> It's the hours, really, that help us out. Thank you to everybody that does super thanks, all of our members. We really appreciate it. If you're a member, you saw this car a while back. We we share pictures of our projects when we buy them on the on the members post. So if you like being in the know like my wife, yeah, you I want to be a member. I got to be in the know. Fairy tale story, wasn't it, this one? Yes, yes sure you know? was. I don't like leaving y'all with a bad ending, and this was a good ending. Literally, I've been, been almost staring. Wrecked. I've been staring at this thing for like a month or so now. She comes outside and checks on it by every day. She needs to be checked on. Yeah, it rains. She's in there checking. Is it damp? Is it damp? Is it wet in here? Well, What's we'll, the we'll, humidity left? Hopefully, we'll have her in the dry here in a few weeks. How about that? Yep. Thank you to Solder Stick for their help with our channel. We really appreciate it. Go check them out at solderstick.com and use code JOSH20 for 20% off your purchase. Right? Your hair is really nice today, Ralph. You're really flowing locks. <laughs> well, we better go see the animals real quick. Thank you to everybody who sent money. That was the most generous thing ever. I really appreciate it because it helped a lot. He knows what's going on. He's a good helper. Are you not wanting to share these? Where's Grand Grand? She's in the big pool, actually. Lupe? No. He's the chosen one, isn't he? <laughs> He's like, I will not defy oh, myself. Oh, he won't eat it off the ground. I will no, not defy Have you myself. ever seen a more hey. spoiled goat? He will not eat hardly anything off the ground. You're ridiculous. <laughs> we fed him animal crackers earlier. She poured some out on the ground. He walked away from them. Yeah. He's like, no, I won't do it. Wait. She knows what's up. She's so gentle now. It is ridiculous how gentle she is. Because hers the best is pig. You was too late, Rocky Jr. You should have been here when it counted. Tell him by Granny. Give him a phone sniff. Get a good phone sniff in. She's like, is it a phone? <laughs> Give him a sniff. There you go. That's a good girl. All right, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. We're going to go watch Kirby the Love Bug. The white melon. Thank you. Rowdy Ronda's still doing good if you're wondering.